can't forget when you go down home when the sun goes low head off the highway to the painted western sky walk down a worn path through the back door cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm then you sit down Welcome to Great Chefs of the West, a video symposium of regional cookery offered by chefs from the West and Southwest. From Aspen, Colorado, an appetizer by Chef Gordon Nacarato. From Dallas, Texas, an entree by Chef Stephen Piles. From Austin, a dessert by Chef Gert Rausch. And home-based cooking from San Antonio. Dessert comes from Austin's Courtyard in Austin, Texas. Its popularity and critical approval have to be directly tied to Chef Gert Rausch. Born in Germany, Chef Rausch came to Austin in the early 70s. He was one of a few classically trained chefs at that time and subsequently became a mentor for a number of young, soon-to-be Austin chefs. His dessert for this menu is peach mousse. It begins with five egg yolks. You will add like a half a cup of white wine. And some sugar. Then I just whip it up real nice. Then what you need to do is you need to, after you have it mixed real well, you put it over it, over steam, or in a steam bath or something like this, and you whip it until it gets really you have to be careful when you do this because don't make it, don't get it too hot, because otherwise it will curdle. So if, it, if you think that the bowl is getting too hot, just remove the bowl for a little bit and set it aside. But always, always keep the whip going because if you're not, you will have scramble eggs on your hand. When you see it like this, it's almost ready. And take the gelatin leaves. Take them out of the water. Gelatin leaves are a restaurant item. Substitute two envelopes of unflavored gelatin. Put it in a little pan. And melt it down. Now you have to be very, very careful. Make sure that under no circumstances this gelatin will start to boil. The gelatin kind of keeps, keeps, the, keeps the mousse together. Then you will add the gelatin to it. The gelatin is added to the egg yolk mixture, then peach puree. And then you add the pureed peaches. These are fresh peaches poached in sugar, water, and white wine. They are peeled and pureed. Drained canned peaches will substitute. And you mix it well. And then, after this, when you have done this, you take the whipped cream. You don't put it all in at once, just a little bit at a time. And you fold it underneath the mixture. See, when you fold it nicely, it's, it makes that will make the mixture much fluffier, and it's not going to be like a pudding. The rest of the whipped cream is folded in. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Now, you can take after this mixture is finished, you can leave this mixture right in the bowl and put it under refrigeration for about three, four hours to let it stiffen. Or, and then later on you will scoop it up, which will show you how to do. Or you can just put it in some wine glasses if you like to, and you can put some fresh peaches underneath. Or you can also, 
if you like to add some liquor to it, like peach liqueur, if you want to. I mean, it's, it's, it's up to you or your, whatever you like to do. And we serve this one with the raspberry coulis. And if you don't find raspberries, you can do the same thing with strawberries or kiwis or any of the other fruits you have. And what a coulis is, it's actually you take fresh raspberries like this one here, and you separate them nicely, and you make sure that there's nothing, that nothing wrong in there, and you take them. You put a little bit of a, a cup, like the two baskets of this, a cup of red, some red wine and some sugar, and you boil them on the stove for just a couple of minutes, and then you sieve them to a sieve, and that's all there is to it. So it's pretty simple. What he's doing right now, he puts, he puts a little bit of heavy cream right there in the middle to make a little bit of a design. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's really not as difficult as it looks like. Then you garnish it with a little bit of mint leaves. And it's basically a pretty simple dessert and it's fast to make. There's a road headed to the west, and it's calling me back again. There's a pale blue sky and a north sunset, and a place I can't forget. You go down home when the sun goes low. Head off the highway to a painted western sky. Walk down a worn path through the back door. Cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm. Then you sit down. Yeah. 